params dot windowed equals true and then present params present params I'm just gonna dot swap effect equals uh, swap effect dot discard and then we have the same again oops present params dot uh, back buffer uh, format equals format dot a8 so make sure this one's right a8 r8 oops it's the second one there there you go uh, no, 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 that's fine and then this dot device that's our drawing device there equals new device zero comma device type uh, device type dot hardware uh, comma this dot handle um, and then we've got create flags just going to move my headset out of the way create flags hardware uh, I'm going to do a quick fraps test make sure things are okay and they seem to be um, so final thing we've got to do I think here is uh, what's wrong with that what have I done wrong this dot device equals new device oops I know what I did wrong I closed that before I had to close this so this dot handle and then we've got um, create flags yep that's about right create flags uh, dot hardware vertex processing and present params again okay and that should be it for that one so that's our device created there um, and that should be oops got that twice there and then all you got to do is thread um, dx equals new thread what we're doing here is we're creating an independent thread new thread which is going to run across there and draw it on the screen new thread start um, this dot dx thread now this hasn't been created yet, so don't worry about the errors that you're about to get and they say dx dot background or is background sorry equals true yep and then dx dot start Woo, that was a lot of code right there damn Oh my god, if this doesn't work when I first run out, I'm going to kill myself. Because we got a lot of code. I'm so... I really should have known how much code this was going to be. So public void um, stop thread. That's what we're going to create here. Um, stop thread equals true. So that's our form load. Uh, and now we're going to create our DX thread, which is going to be... Um, it's going to be a bit of work and that's pretty much our final function so let's just do this one now and then I've got a bit more code for you to paste and then that's it private and hopefully if we haven't made any mistakes we should be alright DX thread which will get rid of our error there Oops. so while stop thread so we'll keep running this until uh, we tell it to stop so the first thing you want to do is go region device work to make things simple for us and region um, seems fine there and then we say device dot clear oops drop my microphone there uh, device dot clear clear flags um, dot target comma color dot from alpha um, red green blue uh, let's go four zeros now and uh, we close that and then we go comma and then 1.0 f which is a float and then zero okay close that and then we say device might as well just copy device now because we've got a lot of device to write dot uh, render state uh, dot z buffer enable okay dot z buffer enable equals false um, dot lighting dot uh, render state again dot lighting equals false so none of that uh, dot render state dot call mode equals call dot none and device dot transform dot projection uh, equals matrix not the film dot ortho off center lh zero this dot width uh, this dot height uh, and 
comma zero comma zero uh, comma one device dot begin scene so device dot begin scene okay so we start our drawing now and we end our region for device work uh, what do you mean you don't know what stop thread is are you kidding me the hell man the hell is wrong with oh shit 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 that should be alright that should fix that yeah good so that's our region done there so let's close this because we don't really care about that now um, next thing we're doing is our region for drawing and rendering region you don't have to do regions if you don't feel like it and now um, this one's going to be fairly straightforward so in pointer handle equals find window so that that code that asked you to uh, paste at the top for the DLL imports is basically us just grabbing a couple of functions from C++ um, to use on this so functions like find window etc you cannot find because there are uh, I think some managed code that's why you can't use it so we have to bring it over to make it managed. Uh, okay, so we do uh, find window, null, and we want to go for window name. And my throat is killing me. I'm going to get a quick drink, be right back. Okay, so we do that, and then once we've got that, just going to do a quick frap test. That's beautiful. So we get that, find window, uh, no, 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 window name. So we get our handle, so we get our window here. We want to know what window we're working with because we need to figure out what the size of that window is so you can play at whatever resolution you like. So in pointer dot zero in PTR dot zero. So we grab our window here because we need to figure out what size is that window. So we put across it right in the center of our screen here. So rect uh, window rectangle rectangle equals get window rect, which is one of the things we got earlier. Handle. So just throw the handle in there, and that should be good enough. So then we go int width. So just go W equals window rectangle dot right so that's how we find the width of our rectangle and in the rectangle dot left so take the take them one away from each other and then we get the height which is going to be similar so just copy that paste that height it's actually not similar at all so I don't know why I copied that but it's top minus bottom oh sorry it's bottom minus top I believe so top so we got a height and then we say int x and the reason why I'm breaking this down I could throw all this into our next function but the reason why I'm breaking all this down is so oh, uh, yeah that's fine and the reason why I'm breaking all this down is so it doesn't get too confusing uh, for some of you guys I know a lot of you will understand this quite nicely but um, I like things broken down for me and I know allocating this memory on every loop isn't the best move but I'll, I want to do it um, just because it's easier to understand so it goes window rectangle dot left plus width, open those brackets, width, uh, sorry, w, just w, uh, divided by 2. So what we're doing here is, for example, if we got this window here, we're saying uh, the center of the window equals this bit plus the width divided by 2, which this is our center then, you see. So that's pretty straightforward and you should be able to, to get that. If not, don't worry about it. Uh, y equals, um, that will be uh, height divided by 2, and it will be uh, the top part, I believe, uh, top plus, or it could be the bottom minus, it doesn't really matter. Um, and then what we're going to do is going to call draw crosshair. And here we're going to go x, comma, y, comma, crosshair color, comma, crosshair choice. And this function has not yet been put, so it should have been given on your files required as well. Um, should have been given, so let's get our files required. I've got my videos folder here. Files required. Uh, where is that? Yeah, there is. You should be given a text file. I'm going to open mine with uh, Notepad. Uh, open. Just open that. So as you can see, you get all this. I recommend you open this with something like um, Notepad plus plus, or open this within the game. Uh, so if you got Notepad plus plus, I re recommend you use that. If not, um, just use uh, something else. So get here. Go here. There's a lot of code there and just paste it somewhere so we're going to create a new region and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about in a second so region actually don't need to create a region because it already creates one when you do it so paste all that there and if you're wondering what this is all this is is some time that I spent ah shit I need to change scale to size but all this means so size so make sure you do the same so go here find scale uh, or change the variable at the top it doesn't really matter match case match whole word replace all so it says uh, change Come size, come on! Ah, oh, did that wrong. Should have been a capital S. Crap. So 
change that one here with a small s. Replace all. There you go. Just make sure it's the same as your variable that you declared at the top. And all we're doing here, all this is, it's a ton of code, but basically it can be broken down to just a bunch of times that I spent drawing. So you can draw rectangles, you can draw cubes, you can draw all kinds of stuff and with this function. So don't really have to worry too much about what it does. But that's pretty much it. So thread over. Thread over. Yeah, so it's a capital T there. So now we're just fixing whatever errors we got left. Uh, and once again, that becomes thread over. So hopefully that should be all right. Um, we're going to test this now and uh, see where it gets us. Um, I don't think we've forgotten anything on our overlay, have we? No, 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 no. So just going to do that, close that there, and we've got a crosshair being drawn. Um, I believe we haven't forgotten anything, so I'm just doing a final check on mine, just to make sure I've definitely not forgotten anything. We don't have any unknown crashes, but they might happen anyway. So let's run this. Okay, so first thing we're going to do is run it. It will eventually run at some point, but um, hopefully I haven't made any mistakes. Otherwise, we'll have to fix them. Come on, why is it taking such a long time? Uh, but um, yeah, so that crosshair function, you can do all kinds of stuff. You can do your crosshairs, you can do your circle dots, you can do everything you want. Uh, when we do the ESP, I'll come up with a couple more drawings. I'll come up with probably, uh, I'll try and come up with just a stick man. So when you're drawing your ESP, you'll come up with stick man, which is quite good. Or just, you know, a shaped. Oh, this is taking way too long. Pissing me off. Uh, so yeah, I'll come up with a way of doing maybe a, um, you know, just a little actual bone man or something like that. I don't know if I'll do it yet, but. Uh, either way, that is my next tutorial, the ESP, using this method of drawing. Um, when we do the ESP tutorial, I'll give you a template already. We don't, we don't have to redo this all over again. I just wanted you to learn about this method and know how to use it. So, that's pretty much it, and this is taking ages. Oh, crap, crap, crap. Yeah, I know why it's taking ages. Um, yeah, I'm going to have to kill this. Uh, sh so, quick note there, guys. If you run that, when I did it, um, you will have that thing coming up. So, what I recommend you to do is go here, find your .exe file of your um, of your um, project that you just ran, and close it. Okay, and that should cause an error, hopefully. Nope, that was the wrong one. So, I'll delete another one, actually. Uh, should be vshost.exe, so close that. Hopefully, that should work. Should give you an error when you close it. Yeah, there you go. So, it gives you an error when you close it. And this is something that happens because we're dealing with such old code we're gonna have to create an app.config to to work with this so um, that code should be uh, I'm gonna put that in a um, I'll give you a file called app.config and then you just copy and paste the text onto this so I'll just figure that out now okay then. so on your um, on your thingy you should have an app.config now on your files required folder let's have a look at that you should have an app.config there you should have had it there the whole time uh, I've just added it now though. Uh, so you should have that there. And this is, I believe, because we're using such old code, we have to find a way of uh, telling it to allow... Um, so uh, Yeah, so I believe it's because it's loading assemblies for a much older version of um, the, not, the, the .NET framework, and that's why we need this. So copy this code here. Well, not code, but script. So go here, Solution Explorer, see if I can remember this. Uh, Right-click on the project and say Add New Item. Okay, I want to go on general here. I want to go for uh, application configuration file and just leave that as it is app.config add. And then here, just overwrite this whole code with this, with what we just talked about. Uh, just put that whole code there, which is on your text file. And hopefully, let's run this and hopefully, it should run it all right. And beautiful. There you go. Excellent. So we've got this running now. And just going to do a fraps test so I don't get screwed over. So we've got this running now. And uh, I'm just going to close this, or minimize this, minimize that. I'm going to run my calculator and hopefully see how this goes. So first thing that happens, uh, nothing comes up. Why doesn't anything come up? Because I'm pretty sure I forgot function right at the beginning. So let's go back there. Um, da -da 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 -da. Sharp. Oops, that is my wrong one. So let me just move that over there. So let's go back to our initial one, which I believe we called uh, form one. Yep, we did call form one. So let's go back to that. Um, uh, so my process. Uh, I remember we declared something, with it, but then we didn't um, grab the things. So yeah. So here we gotta go here. Right click this. We're gonna have to get click event. So go on the events. Say click. Yeah. Right that one. Double click there. And there, there it is. So we're gonna go game. Um, window combo box dot items dot clear. So every time you click it, we're gonna get the new results. Dot clear. So you click it, we're gonna get 